Hey guys, what is up? I got Tragic and Manny with me again. We're doing the leaders this time for the the draft mode. The guys that we think uh, you should probably be picking come uh, come draft day. Um, let's just jump right into it. Number, I got my list here. Number five, I got Ada. I, I like Ada. I think she's a pretty cool leader, and uh, her being able to spawn either Iris if you got the the ability to remove her. Or old geared seems really good. Um, what do you think of this pick, Tragic? You're not a fan of the create leaders, huh? Um, I think she's decent. I don't. I wouldn't put her in the top five or ten, but I think I wouldn't be disappointed if I took her from a leader in arena, though. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're normally gonna pull like there's the bad part is there's a lot of bad first units you can pull. Yeah. So you know, like. Since you're not going to have necessarily synergy cards that you would in an actual curse deck, there's going to be a lot of blanks. You know, the four point curse guy and the two point mage, for example. Right. Yeah. But there's, there's going to be yeah, times where it's not going to be. Good. Like you said, you're you're going to pull all geared and Mork out of this a lot, right? Yeah. There's there's possibilities that. Or can, can you pull Mork out of this? Uh, it's cursed. Yeah, it's cursed. So yeah, it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Does it count the other factions though? I'm pretty sure. Um, well, if, um, if it's, it says if bronze it's or silver cursed unit, so I, I believe that. Yeah, but yeah. Did, didn't they put it that way? But in reality, it only counted the faction in neutral. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen like uh, Skull or anything like that before. So right. I, I, I think, think it's. It I think it is only Northern Realms, faction. but I, I know for a fact you can pull either Iris or Old Geared, which I think would be pretty good in draft mode, on top of the six yeah. strength body. Yep, both of those would be good pulls. And I think that would be why you'd run this card. Yep. Would be, you're basically aiming to pull out Old Geard or... The high or, roll. Uh, the high roll. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, we already know Manny loves loves rib the McRib girl, so... Dude, yes, that's true, dude. You have no <laughs> idea what it will do for McRibs right now. <laughs> uh, number four, I got Amir. Uh, I, I think Amir is going to be pretty good. Uh, being able to pull something back, especially like a Vic Vara Medic or something that's going to be able to... Put another body on the board, you know, pulling back Hattori or anything like that just seems like he's going to be really, really good in Arena. Um, what do you think of this one, Manny? Okay, so what I think is Amir is... Amir is going to be good. He's always good at what he does, you know what I'm saying? He always resets a couple of cards here. He, uh, he comes valuable when it comes to... But when it comes to draft... It might not be as much synergy, and that's why he's lower on the rank. Yeah, it, it, it's gonna. It's. I think he's mostly gonna rely on if you have cards that are gonna be resin something. Um, but if you do, and being able to play him twice, I think it's gonna be huge. What about you, Tragic? The thing that's most in his favor is that you get to pick the leader at the end. Right. So, being able to see what your decks like for replaying abilities. If you can play him or not, because he's basically a free point card. He's like a kind of a seven point decoy. Yeah. So you know, if you're playing cards such as the Viz Medics, for example, you know he's like he's like a seven point Viz Medic in those situations, which is worth running. So it's going to come down to can I run him? Because if you can run him and you can reliably run him, he's worth running. Yeah, I think if, if, if you're able to get, like, two or three cards that are tutor cards that you can pull stuff out with, you know, whether it's res or, you know, some kind of spell or something like that, um, he's going to be he's gonna be huge because you're just going to get double the points off of those those engine cards I, that you needed. I, I will say one negative thing about him, though, is um, there's going to be more golds in your deck, so you're going to have a little bit less targets than you normally would. That's true. But... You know, you're just gonna have to count how many all those cards are worth him targeting in your deck, Pulling and then you're gonna have to, yeah, then you have to just, you know, kind of do the math of how reliably you can get him off. Because if you can reliably get him off, you take him. If you can't reliably get him off, you don't take him. It's pretty simple. Yeah. Um, number three, I got Jan Calve or John Calve. Um, he's he's his own draft basically. <laughs> you know, you play him and you get to look at three cards and you pick your best, especially with you know the the ability of there being so many golds in your deck i just think he's he's going to be he's going to be great it it's just 
being able to choose your options of what you can pull is just just super strong in draft mode. Uh, what do you think of this one, Tragic? Yeah, he's top tier. Yeah. I mean, five free points and getting to pick a, the card. We just talked about free points with uh, Amir, and he's you know five instead of seven, but he's got a more universal ability. This is the kind of leader you can take with any deck. I think any one that can actually get Calvate, with regardless of what deck you have, you're gonna be very happy if he's an option. I would. I don't know where you want to put him exactly, but he's definitely top tier. Yeah. What about you, Manny? Are you taking taking Yan? I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I will say exactly what Drake said, right. but a little bit smarter. <laughs> that, that's all <laughs> yeah he, he just seems like uh, he's his own little mini draft i just think it's uh it's it's gonna be huge to uh be able to pick pick your poison basically uh number two i got radovid um being able to lock i think is going to be huge and then on top of that you're going to be able to at least do eight damage um, and he just seems like he's he's going to be a really really great leader in in draft mode. I'm, 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 because he, he doesn't require any. I mean, draft really doesn't have synergy anyways. But he's just like standalone. He's just he's just a beast. I mean, just being able to lock stuff and knock damage off. It just seems like it's going to be really really strong to pick him. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about this one, Manny? Okay, so are you, first of all, are you gouging eyes out with Radovid? I'm never gonna forget Radovid for what he has done. <laughs> so um, whenever I see him, I'm gonna be like, nope. <laughs> You're not it, taking. I him. have I have a grudge against him, man. Yeah. <laughs> the Lord is deep with this one. Oh. Uh, what about you, Tragic? Are you a Are you a Radovid fan? Yeah, it's gonna be tricky playing him though because on one hand, you're gonna want to use him right away. Because you're, you know, let's assume your opponent starts out with a Dragoon or a KSS or one of those cards, and then they play another normal unit because they see you're playing Radovid. Then you're going to be at the tough situation of, do I think my opponent's holding more of the lockable cards, or do I think this is it and I better lock that card before it gets too big? Oh, they're going to be holding more of them because they're right. The ability of silvers and golds being able to draw more than what you can, it's it's you're you're so it, you're going to be able to. It, they're going to be able it's to go keep going, I mean, but but being able to lock some stuff just seems really, really It's going to be a game of chicken of you're going to have to just kind of decide if you want to lock that one unit target right away or if you want to force your opponent to not play the cards in his hand for a while. And it's going to be a game of chicken, and you're going to have to just kind of guess of what you think your opponent has. So that's the kind of thing that's going to be annoying when you play Red of it. But on the other hand, even if you just lock one unit like a KSS, you already got you know, 18, 20 points of value total from playing this leader. Right. So it, it, it already is. And lock is so good when you can reliably have it in your starting hand. You know, if, if you could guarantee me that I would have a card like Margarita in my opening hand, peop, I would run that card way more than I run it now. Because that's a bad thing about lock cards is, you know, round two, round three, when lock doesn't matter anymore, you don't want to top deck that card. Where when you have that as a leader and you have it on tap to use it anytime you want, at, at the very start of the game, so any unit they play, you're ready to lock it instantly. That is very, very good value. Yeah, yeah. He's he just he seems like top tier value, no matter what. You're gonna at, at the yep. worst case scenario, he's gonna do what he needs to do. Um, and then my number one pick, and we have varied opinions on this, and I, I'm really surprised about this. I have Francesca as my number one, just being able to pull. You know the card that you need out of the deck and being able to boost it um i think it's going to be really good you, you she can always draw what you need i just think that's really really huge um now tragic has a different opinion on this card so go ahead tragic maybe maybe manny should go first since he okay kind of go ahead manny go ahead okay so first of all uh yes she's top tier to the point that i would pick her super just to try to get her because i didn't get her on my initial draft <laughs> Okay, that, that's not what I would do, but that's just me, dude. That's just me. Now, uh, I really think that picking what you want, you know, it comes. I love that. I, I don't know what else to say. It's, it comes because it, that's simple. You want it, you got it. Yeah, and I mean, like, if if you had Shoop, if you were able to get Shoop and this. I don't see how you lose. Like you just, you just. If you can win round one and bleed them round two, you're just gonna win. There's no if way around. If you got it. shoop, 
don't talk to me or my family ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was talking to Mandy about that. I would be so mad when someone plays Stoop against me in Arena. Yeah, it's... like that's that's gonna be the only card that really makes me super mad, angry, whatever you want to call it. Like nothing is worse than your opponent plays Stoop and plays mage and draws a card and smiles at you yeah it's <laughs> you know, yeah good or, luck <laughs> or even or even playing it for the 12 strength carryover i mean it's just shoop's gonna be a monster um but go ahead tragic now explain to us why this card is not good or... so i have this leader as trash tier is that <laughs> like not 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 even like middle tier or anything like just a couple pegs down like i have the exact opposite i have her as unplayable it's because so if we go by point value, what you think you're going to get out of your leader, I think normally I always want to get around 20 for my leader. That's kind of my area. Okay. So when you play Francesca for 7 plus 3, she's around 10. So now now you're putting yourself in a hole where you're already minus 10 points. So at any card you pull has to make up that 10 points instantly. And not only that, but you're pulling a good card out of your deck that you could have top decked anyways. So, so, so Tragic's top deck skills are maximum points, <laughs> dude. <laughs> we got to record it, some Tragic games because I, I, my I top decks tutor... suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just don't think the tutor card is that great in Arena because if you're playing Francesca in Constructed, you're doing sh you know sh shenanigans. You know, you're doing something s silly where you need some exact cards at Siri that time and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, or. Uh, Let's say Siri, normal Siri, for example. You know, you need to pull her right when you after you win the round. Right. You know that that kind of stuff. Where in arena, it's going to be more just general value cards. So a lot of times with this card, you're going to pull her just to pull out, you know, an Igni or you know just a regular good gold card, and then that regular gold card has to make up that ten points just to be worth it. And I think a lot of times it's not going to make it up. So there you guys See, go. The, Tragic says, don't no, pick no. this card. Jokes yeah. on you because, check this out. I'm going to do Francesca. I'm going to take a Shoop. I'm going to play Shoop. And I'm going to realize that I have an extra copy. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> um, my uh, my honorable mention is uh, Harold. I think Harold's going to be pretty decent. Um, you know, he's he's going to be one of those leaders where no matter what, he's going to be able to do what he needs to do. He's, he's I mean, worst case scenario, I mean, he's going to do what he needs to do. It's it's gonna be six and nine, and it's swinging from your side to the other. I think he's gonna be pretty decent. Uh, wouldn't uh, like as tragic would say, I wouldn't be sad picking this one. What do you yeah, think about I, this one? I I have this card as top tier also. Like uh, it's funny because how we play in constructed is for Axemen and just for you know the whole pings and everything. But in arena, you're gonna be using it for the removal. You know, you're gonna your opponent's gonna lead off with a dragoon in a lane, and then you're just gonna drop the herald right on it. Right, and you're just gonna you're just gonna, you're gonna use it to pick cards off, and you know it's a fi what fifteen fifteen sixteen yeah. I mean that's already pretty close to what you want in a leader, so it's just a general card that you can use for. Said about it, and those times when you can pick off a card right away in a round, and it's gonna be way more value. So, I think this card's kind of sneaky good, because a lot of people are gonna get that way since they're so used to using it for Axemen in, in a different situation. Right. What do you think about Harold, Manny? He's no longer crippled. <laughs> no, no, he's not. He's standing. Yeah. He's healed. He, uh, Harold ripped. He's going to rip everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's your, uh, who's your uh, honorable mention, uh, Manny? Uh, well, we already can mention it, uh, Usurper, so we can get uh, Francesca. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> <we'll mention> my... <laughs> He's that, that second chance Francesca that you could possibly draw there. So Manny's all in on Francesca like me. Um, yeah, I, it was Usurper. He, he, he's, I'm, I'm just scared of that, you know, nightmare scenario where you draw Hensel. Bran and and Hoog and you have no dwarfs in your your deck or something. It's just gonna be like, oh no. But I I I, I could see you getting at least one playable leader out of your circle, which which seems okay. Um, who's your pick, uh, Tragic? Okay, so I think just the generally good leaders that we haven't touched on would be like Full Test, 
Yeah. You know, it not not only is he going to be about twenty points over the rounds in value, but also some of those points will be carryover. True. Since you know, in, in a way, you know, since you're pumping cards in your hand and deck that you don't play in round one, that's going to be an extra point at each card in round two and round three. So, just that kind of part kind of gives it a heads up, and it's going to fit any deck. Any deck you can play this and. If you have weird cards that can muster things out and whatnot for some weird reason, then that's all just bonus points. But in other cards, Croc on Krite, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, yeah, but, uh, you, it. you know, just point value. No matter what it pulls, you know, it pulls out a 14 point card or whatever, it's going to be close to 20 points. Like I said, you kind of want around 20 points on your leader. That's kind of your goal when you're trying to figure out which leader fits your deck. Say, you know, am I going to get close to 20 points? 15 is kind of the bare minimum. Am I getting less than 15? Then, you know, this is going to not be a great pick for a leader. If, if you have anything else, you want to take it. Um, the card that's kind of surprisingly better that no one plays right now is the the 4.1 on Skoya. Oh, yeah. Vanderville or whatever. Yep, that card is actually really good. Like, it's, it's, it's one of those cards that no one plays ever, but being able to create a silver special card four points it's kind of one of those free point leader cards that can be very situational that can give huge value in a round yeah it's a high roll so, it's definitely high roll yeah i mean and silver special cards are really good yeah i, I assume this means that he'll just pull skoya and neutral yeah again yeah and there's a lot of good silver um skoya spells to go along with the neutral so i think this card's gonna get 20 value almost every time and the situational of being able to pick a card exactly to maybe remove a card at a timely matter at a very specific time that you need to, or, or, I don't know, just in general, it's going to be a good card. Normally we have more cards that fit our decks where this is kind of more of a general card. So I think of all the create leaders, I actually like this one the best. Yeah, she could pull this, or I always think this is a chick, man. Don't ever take me to the club. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can pull the stone with it. Hard. You can pull the stone with it. Um, but yeah, can, can we can, can we touch the bad leaders for <laughs> quickly? Oh well, yeah, like, I mean, uh, Hillock's gonna be is, horrible. Oh my, like, there is so many terrible leaders. Yeah, Hillock. Like I think a, a lot of the times you're just gonna be by default taking a leader because like like Hensel, for example, trash tier. Um, Brand. Yep, pretty King, King Brand. Like and like. The, the monster leaders, like, more than half the monster leaders are literally unplayable. Hoog's not, I didn't realize Hoog's not too bad, because he could still pull a silver unit, so... Yep. It's not that bad, but, um... Yeah, he's not bad, but even cards that are normally good, like Athne. Yeah. Yeah, like, she's, she's not normally gonna be a, very good, yeah. Yeah, she's normally a really, really good card, but I, you're, you're not gonna have very many spells in your decks, I don't think, in Arena. <laughs> so, she's probably gonna have to be a leader you avoid, even though she's one of the better constructed leaders. So, it's, it's kind of funny, like, probably half these leaders are almost unplayable. Yeah, so when you the have Rock a is choice clean, of, no good. Uh, more of yeah. no good. Dagon, even. You can't play Dagon. You're not gonna draft a Bronze Fog. Or, I mean, uh, a Foglet or whatever. So, it's just gonna be 8 plus weather. Right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know? Unseen might be okay, but... It's, yeah, uh... Unseen, Unseen would be one of the couple playable um, monster ones. Yeah, and, and Ice doesn't seem very good. I mean, he's just pulling a bronze card. You know, it's not really that great. But, uh, but yeah, that's... There are there are some bad ones. I mean, you're gonna like I yeah. said, it's it's gonna get ugly, you know, sometimes and I mean, for you. Even Aroden, I mean, he's gonna have to play pull a warrior almost every time. So if you kill a unit and everything goes perfectly, he's gonna be a sixteen point leader play. You know, that's gonna be one of the worst options. Right. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's it's surprising how many bad leaders there is, especially because it seemed like they kind of created, they tried to balance the leaders out for this mode. It seemed like, and yet I think we're gonna see a lot of bad leaders. Yeah. I definitely can see that happening too. Um, you're, you're gonna have you're gonna have four leaders, and two of them are probably gonna be unplayable. So you're gonna probably be choosing between two leaders most of the time for what can actually fit in your deck. Yeah, it's gonna happen. But uh, yeah, those are our picks, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if there's a leader you you for sure are gonna draft, if you think uh, if let us know if you think uh, Francesca is unplayable trash tier. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but uh, that's the video for today, guys. Um, once again, thank you, Tragic, for stopping through and Manny. Manny's always here. It's always awesome to have Manny mm -hmm. and have, to have a Tragic through. come through. We got to have Tragic come through more often. So. Yeah, but, hopefully next time I I can have more quiet time away from the kids and have, yeah, my, <laughs> yeah. yeah, my good mic. Is oh, it's my all Bluetooth. good, man. It's all good. We uh, we're just happy to have you, Tragic. You are a a wealth of we are, you are a wealth of knowledge and we are happy to have you so any any background noise we can deal with so no issues there my, my friend but uh like always he guys thanks for watching <laughs> would you say man he was doing the martinis for two for two videos <laughs> <laughs> yeah he was making uh he was making margaritas for everybody we're celebrating after the, the recording but uh like always guys thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time